This label, moderate Calvinism, was in many ways a code word for a Calvinist who stood broadly in the camp of Andrew Fuller. Moderate Calvinists, sometimes nicknamed Fullerites, were characterized by their vehement rejection of hyper-Calvinism and their ardent advocacy of a gospel freely offered to all without distinction and without exception. They insisted that although sinners had a moral inability to believe, unless grace was given, they nonetheless had a natural ability to believe. The distinction between moral inability and natural inability got moderate Calvinists into hot water with stricter Calvinists, but it was crucial to the moderate Calvinist understanding of the free offer. We can illustrate the difference between moral and natural inability in the thinking of moderate Calvinists as follows. If you tell an armchair to repent and believe the gospel, it will not, because it cannot. It has a natural inability to repent and believe, because it lacks all the faculties for repenting and believing. An armchair has no mind, no feelings, no conscience. But if you tell a sinner to repent and believe the gospel, his inability apart from grace to do so is not a natural inability. He's no lifeless armchair. He has a mind, feelings, conscience. The problem is not lack of faculties, but lack of willingness. It is a moral inability. That is why no one would blame an armchair for not repenting or believing, but God will hold sinners accountable if they do not repent or believe. 